I tried to be the light on stage, hoping to burn a fire in someone's heart so they'd never forget to dream, to remember, to empathize, to be enraged, to just to feel something, anything. But I don't take the credit for this. I've always been clear that I'm being used. We're all being used as conduits for change, allowing the energy and light to flow through and manifest anew. Now, some of us focus on the good energy and some of us not so good, but we won't say names. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit in my seat, focus on the chalkboard and bubble in the answer this time. See what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> Still the in-house entertainer. <laughs> I admit those lessons have helped me in some, in some situations, but what I learned as I grew older from all of my light-bearing predecessors is when to fall out of line. From black women leading the way to freedom from the swampy terrains of the South to women organizing countless movements for equality and our rights, I want every woman to demand the windows in the room. Make paper airplanes out of those papers we draw bubbles on when you're not invited or not giving a seat, a seat at the table. In spite of it all, we must still make room for the light. To my fellow recipients, congratulations. Congratulations, you rock, all of you. It's an honor to share this space with you and let's continue to light the pathway for every human to access his inherent right to safety, belonging, and dignity. Keep setting the world on fire with your light. It is needed. Burn, baby, burn. Thank you so much. I'm so honored. Thank you.